Let's get this started. How difficult do I want to have it? I think I'm going to roll with Baron difficulty for today. Because I... I felt like night was growing a little bit easy to me. But it's been a while since I played it the last time. Hey, Rossi, welcome. So happy to see you, man. Well, where to, where to? I heard your suggestions towards the demonologist and the voice of ill. I don't feel too, too much like these today. I don't know. Scourge Lord, though. That went closest to my uh, to my vibes from your suggestions. I'm also vibing for Warlock because I like the summons, but it's pretty hard to pull off. It's so uh, diverse and I don't know. Enchanter was always one of my favorite classes, but it sucked pretty hard and standard. Well, let's go Scourge Lord. Why not? It's pretty straightforward. It's pretty power uh, power playing. And I think I like it. Cloud Lord, High Cultist. Ooh, yeah. There's a lot of them that I want to. I basically want to play them all too. Because with the Total Overhaul mod, I lo love it that you get to build your own infrastructure. I tried out a run with Bakamono today, and it's a totally new game experience because you're building all those iron mines and you're. Your map painting in a completely different way. So what the hell is going on there? Magma children. Hi there, boys. So happy to not see you. No, I'm not happy at all. Okay, so we got... Pillar of Power. Flat Terrain. Refuge. Create an oasis. Must be adjacent to a desert palace and non adjacent to other oases. Appoint Herald. Tainted life force. Mm. Boom. Kills people. Cool. Can nuke my underlings and transform them into power. What a nice move. Slave mine. Okay. Mm Must be three tiles from the nearest warm iron mine, so this is pretty. Weak. A pyramid of power. Should probably be placed near water or the edge of that desert. Why exactly? Ah, it's so wonderful, confusing. So desertification, well, at least that's something I understand. Desert palace, I think that's a new capital. Call monster ants. Need some Mermeki hill. Oh, of course, I can't create them. So, doesn't need any prerequisites besides a piece of desert, as far as I can see. Okay, we can go for ants and a lot of upgrades here as well. Okay, my underling blood for iron, blood for gold. Yeah, I bet that's nuking him for resource. So, here, another pillar of power and oasis next to desert palaces. Only next to desert palaces. This is a little bit weird. So, I'm running a citadel myself. Okay. Confused still. Summons are extremely strong, yeah. I remember the summons of this faction being extremely frightening. So, weakness, terror, aw. Oh. There's better stuff to pull from the arsenal, my man, Carl. It's German for bald. It's just like a spellbook. Don't like it too much. Bald of unlife, fear. All right, so let's see, what can I recruit here? Oh, oh, boys. Man, that's, that's rare. Scout turn one. That's a real, real precious little gift. 
Because this means I am detecting stealthy stuff from the get-go. Awesome. Ari just welcome. Yeah, we're playing Scourge Lord. Oh, well, give me a sec, I'll fix that in the description. Bam, there we go. Fix that for you. We're going for the ants. Hey Pikachu, welcome. Desert troops are very strong. Especially in the desert. That's the fun part. So, Volcano. Well, I hope it's just going to stay peaceful, Volcano. volcano. Overrun that wolf. Okay. So, here's mountains. Didn't I run a power to create mines? Slave mine. Needs 100 life force, though. Damn. But, well... Here, I can go for Pillars of Power wherever I want to. So I could just pop my Scourge Herald for the first, for a second Pillar of Power. But where can I get new Heralds from? Do I have a spell for that? Point Herald, here. Okay, so I can transform 100 life force and 30 gold basically into iron not a good deal but if you don't have any iron well and my my industry requires iron so the slave mine spell doesn't require iron though so in the worst case scenario we're going to save up our first 100 points of life force for that it's the best bet that i can get for now let's just hope i'll find it somewhere provides too, especially iron. I'm very, very hungry for iron with this faction. It's amazing. I could get gold instead, oh, but not life force, okay. That's difficult. Difficult decisions how to kickstart this empire. Hey, Joe, welcome. Happy to see you. How come whenever I play Warlock, I need to build gates to Elemental Plane to get my Warlocks to full power? I haven't played Warlocks for real yet. I always attempted to do so, but I somehow didn't get them that far. Whenever the AI plays them, they're super spooky for sure. <laughs> Not when I play them. I am still exploring the whole plane shift aspect of the game still, so... I think the Warlock faction has to interact with the elemental planes a little bit more, but... I didn't uh, quite get it. I admit it. So... Yeah, I can only... Can only wait. Can't do anything without iron. That's a little bit disappointing. Oh, I can't trade iron. Painfully slow, but at least it is a possibility. So, I don't want to move this guy while he's alone. That's not healthy. Hey, Muffalo Rancher, hi there. Feeling quite okay today. A little bit better. Felt a little bit ill the late last couple of days, but... Since the kid is in the kindergarten, it's just uh, constant uh, coming and going of stuff. Warlocks are hard to play until you get decent gem production. Yeah, that's that's what I felt like too. I mean, with this mod, you should be able to manipulate your gem income better. Because I bet you can construct stuff there as well. Which you can't in vanilla, which is painful. Thanks for the RimWorld, uh, for the friendly words about RimWorld Muffalo Rancher. I want to get back to the game soon-ish, soon TM. Got a little bit burned out with it, I admit. After doing so much content, I felt like it's, it's only fair to take a break from the game. 
but I'm far from being done. I know that. I, I always had such an on and off relationship with RimWorld, so it's only a question of time until I return. <laughs> so, here we go. Oh, yeah. This is a good start. The real power of the desert troops lies in their early access to decent bows. They don't have any armor though, so they're just paper, but they're very bursty paper. <laughs> and the the camel riders, well, they also got no armor, so they're just freaking squishy, but at the same time they are really good at dealing damage quite well. Magic Rimbrod run. I can't say, that's it, I can't say. It's gonna happen for sure though, that's all I can say. So, let's take a step towards here. I need iron. I'll take the farm too. I love it when I overrun my enemies, that's just so comfy. <laughs> well, we gather iron, just painfully slow. Giant spiders, yikes, and bandits roaming over there, threatening to take my lands. I mean, ugh, exploration right now is way more important than, than keeping the stuff that I have conquered behind me. I need a source of iron, that's the most important thing, and this market village, because it's a steady flow of iron. But the first 100 points of life force have trickled in quite soonish. Yeah, well, Muffin Lore Inter, ACS is its, is its own uh, rabbit hole. If, you, if you're getting into this whole quirky Chinese fantasy theme, you might enjoy yourself there. Although, I must say, it's way less polished than Reward. You really, really have to forgive a lot of quite heavy kinks. I'm not gonna sugarcoat here or anything. <laughs> but I enjoyed my time with it. I enjoyed my time with it. But for now I feel pretty done with it in a, in a good way. Maybe I'll return one day, I don't know. Probably if they put in a new big update or anything like that, you never know. So we got... We got dwarfs in our mountains. Disgusting. Was just busy building a mine there. Ugh. Worst part about that is I can't afford any any troops to get rid of this infestation. There's only a ghoul hanging around on my pillar of power. And I don't trust this guy to take down. to take down those guys alone. He doesn't have any spell, any uh, rituals whatsoever to get rid of that, so... I need to appoint my main dude to cleanse the mountains of the Dwarven infestation. Damn. But at least I noticed it. Instead of losing my main commander, that would be a little bit disappointing to say the least. Yoon, the captain, so we could grab ourselves another commander. Hmm. Roaming rogue commander. It's my first big investment. Or save the penny and pick up an archer. Or go for another Scourge Lord. Difficult questions. For now, I'll keep the money because I can't remember. Did the mine cost gold as well? Slave mine. No, it doesn't. Okay. I can also roam around and desertify stuff. And then build refuges on it. This can only happen next to a desert palace, which I don't have. Yeah, the monkey faction shouldn't be uh, included anytime too soon. I, I read as well that this uh, guy who made this mod pack is busy somewhere else. 
I am extremely grateful for the the awesome job that he made, he did here. I'm having a a blast with this overhaul mod in a way that it feel this makes the game feel way more complete in a good way because I I am finally able to build in the infrastructure that I want to have. This gives it whole. Uh, this gives it a, a whole lot of more of the civilization flair, where you just build your stuff, build your empire, plan ahead, and stuff like that. Slave mine. Here we go. Bam. Iron mine achieved. This will help us a lot, and it's also a nice income source. So, must be three tiles from the nearest iron mine. So, we could build another one here. It's good to know. It's a little bit hard to achieve for now, but it's certainly good to know. Let's go th towards here because I want to get rid of those dwarves. They annoy me. So, what to invest my money in? The bystander mod. I was already considering to add that in to explore more of the world because you win this game always so fast and you don't get to explore most of the features in it. Absolutely what I was feeling like too. Shike. I mean, I do like it that the AI forces you into conflict. It's a good thing. It keeps the game dynamic and exciting. I don't like it when games stagnate or grow boring. So let's pick up archers. I'm a big fan of bolstering my first army stack with a handful of archers. I definitely should pick up the bystander mod and uh, explore the other planes real finally because this would allow me to do some trial and error exploration of these areas without throwing the game basically it's a good idea thanks for that pointer so whew. slow burn well I shy away from learning a lesser ritual of Scourge Mastery because I somehow think that there should be a high probability of getting something real sucky. I don't know. I know my luck that I'm going to get something which provides me some some ants. Not even the, the cool ones, just some regular ants. <laughs> some stuff like that. Although... If they have acid attacks, they might be interesting again, but that's a completely different story. Now, what I'm interested in are new pillars of power. And at this rate, we are four turns away from that. Which is too slow for my taste. Way too slow. I'd say we're going to put up a new mine there. This sounds like a great idea to me. You managed to conquer the primal plane once. I, I didn't even know that this exists. <laughs> it's a tragedy, isn't it? So... We took down the dwarves. Bow attacks in the first turn are just insane. Although fear seems to be quite a nice tool to win the, the fight as well, because frightened enemies just get killed for free. And if I remember correctly, this guy had some fear. Yes, he even has a big AoE fear effect. So I underestimated his skill effect, uh, his skill book a little bit. I'm sorry, sir. I really am. Now, let's pick up some basic troops. Some spearmen on top of that. Really just something to put between him and the enemy, because you never know 
You never want the enemy march straight into your general. It's just a bad thing. Seventy wolves. Why on earth? Ah, let's take it now before it grows into a real problem. All right. Seventeen wolves are just enough to need a real, a real troop to take care of it. But with a real troop, you get lucky and just uh, shoot them down because they're relatively low HP. There we go. One thing I need to pay change. I haven't played this far yet, Rossi. I'm looking forward to that. So, pick up the farm. Pick up another farm. Want to know what's there, you know. And this guy is not able to create a, a mine. It's a little bit sad. I mean, I think I could teach him. I think I could teach him, and I think it would be worth it, actually, too. But then again, hard to tell. But the expansion is very, very good on my, on my ledger. In vanilla, you just destroy land and you can't do anything with it, but in the mod, you can build buildings with different summons from deserts. So that's cool. That's a cool thing, yeah. I didn't have it in my my memory that the Scourge Lord had no real interaction with the desertification he creates. I've got to admit, it's been a pretty long time. So, well, I gotta roam all over the place here and grab all those income sources. It's just too tasty to uh, neglect it. And here in these mountains, I want to put up another, another mine. That would be ideal. But for now, plus twenty-one gold. It's pretty sick early game income. Usually, I'm not that successful. I mean, it's a little bit unnerving for me to leave the citadel open like that. But you know, I I don't care. Often in the early game, I'm like, oh well, if the AI will will rush me down with some cheap, random stack roaming into my citadel. So be it. Let R and Jesus kill me with some random BS. I don't care. I'll just retry and have fun with the next game. Such is the nature of roguelikes. Yay, we gained a soulless soldier. How come? Dear game, how come? Oh yeah, Bolt of Unlife, if I remember correctly. Uh, stuff you kill with these spells turns into undead. Rebel. Yeah, zap. <laughs> and killed and reanimated. I think it's uh, stupid as hell too, uh, Rusty, that a single wolf can end your game. Because that's basically as it is. I, I personally prefer the single snake as a as my personal favorite example of ending your game. There's a little snake slithering into your citadel and everybody's like, okay, it's over. The nature has taken over for this place. Let's slow lay down and die. <laughs> I, th I think that's quite silly. <laughs> you know, games always have this sort of abstraction going on. And as stupid as it might be, it's, it's part of the game design and <laughs> you have to roll with it. Okay, I don't want to have a soulless soldier on my army, thanks. Can't just hang out and chill. Okay. So, what's up next? expanding towards here and let's just afford something that stands in my, my 
a city. And I can create my next pillar of po power. Damn. Go away, I didn't even summon anything yet. I'm still in my spiritual self-discovery phase. Go away, go away. Terracotta soldiers, isn't that enchanter? Ooh, well, 5 HP. Bows. 2 armor. Pierce resistance. Pierce resistance is the real bummer here. Because that makes them pretty resilient against my ranged attacks. So, well, hmm. Can't change it for now. That's Enchanta, yeah. Well, time to put up the the monolith or obelisk in the in the vicinity there. I'll just accept that this guy hangs around here for now and let's be cool with it, you know. Forge Demon Bay. Mm. I'd dig that. <sighs> okay. Let's pick up the farm instead. You can't have the city pick the farm. And let's just plot down an obelisk of power next to their city. Because I think that should be doable, no? Enjoy your new god. Things spiral out of control pretty quickly, I think, after your first next... After your second and third obelisk of power. So I just need more iron. I'm definitely not going to put up an iron mine in this area now. Because I don't think it's going to be worth it. One thing I'll do, though... Alright, let's just invest in archers. Not crossbow. I was... I was tempted for a moment, but no. Wow, Enchanter is swarmy. So, I got a lot of life force on me, hmm? So, desertification is no problem at all, but I shouldn't force it. I create deserts naturally, and I don't think it's that smart to force it. So let's let's learn another ritual for now. Hall of the Pillar. Ooh yeah. That's useful. That's extremely useful. So Let's move our discovery squad a little bit. It's all not really appealing. So my only options for now would be to call the monster ants, but I somehow don't think that's that's what I want to go for. So I think I'm going to save for more scourge mastery and more pillars. Because usually in tier two magic, you have some real kick-ass spells going on. And if I remember correctly, the especially the Scourge Lord had some devastating stuff in there. Just didn't pull it yet. So let's just enact some more land. I mean, this gives me at least enough exploration and pushing power to... to keep stuff rolling. So this dude is a real fun wild card. Keeping him alone is... he's quite vulnerable, yes, but he's also extremely powerful as a scout. Unleashing and Zerk sounds fun. Hell yeah. I'm down. So, let's see. We took down these dudes. We took down the Mantis, and... The terracotta dudes took down my soldier. Rude. 
So it's only 15 terracotta soldiers. I'm pretty confident that I could beat that. Question is, do I really want to? And the next question is, do I really need to? And then I'm asking myself, what would I gain? Let's see. Um, well, I want to drop another pillar of power here. I hope that's possible. Yes. So, let's wait another turn there. And after that, we're going to go for more mastery. So, my hometown doesn't have anything... Oh, I can't put up another captain. Well, that's that's quite fortunate. So, if I would put up a captain... One, two, three... No chance of reaching that. I'm very, very... Uh, hungry for iron, so I'll take the move towards this spot here first and let these guys do whatever they want to do. Because they won't be threatening my capital just like that. Steel, hi there! Nice to see you here, and nice to hear that you were drawing. Pigeons are also very, very cool, especially drawn pigeons. So I've lost half of my camel riders to that one, but the pale ones are beefy. That had to be expected. So, like I mentioned earlier, the Desert Warriors are cool for their office strike, but be beyond that, their paper. There we go. Bam. Just getting destroyed by those chunky boys. They got 13 HP armor on top of that. And, well, all birds. And against that, 10 HP, armor zero. That's that's the big boys. The dudes behind that, it doesn't get better here. HP six, armor zero. It's just, uh, well, what you would wear to be effective in the desert or something like that. Uh, they're pretty good expansion units, but beyond that, they suck pretty hard. But we took down these guys with that and I'm sacrificing a couple of units to take over a strategical strategical important thing like a iron deposit. Totally worth it. We need the iron so badly. But stuff's going forward. It's always it's already on pillar three. And now we're we're talking business. So, let's see. I lost a portion of my troops. That's unfortunate, but not the end. Let's move this guy as far as we can. So, I could pick up reinforcements here. I don't have any secondary place to recruit from. This sucks pretty hard. There are spots that we could conquer, but the city of herbalists here is a freaking fortress. They even have a level 2 mage there. This is nothing to sneeze at. This can destroy entire armies. So, gotta take that serious. This is the next easiest door to knock down, I'd say. So, yeah, I I think it's a good time to, to go back and recover. Or... bring up some other sneaky dude. Ah, oh, those nasty uh, enchanters, they're really swarming like crazy. Whoa! That's my dude. Slash. Alright, that's actually been extremely close. Lucky guy. Lucky me. They roamed on him. So, call monster ants can only be cast on Mermiki Hill. Ant Hill. I do have... I pretty much have what it takes. Let's do this. So, first we gotta get rid of the Terracotta Boys. They are not welcome here.
Well, let's put up some more Desert Warriors now. Wait a sec. I have archers. Well, I've gimped myself the whole time. I should have spammed Desert Warriors instead of archers. They're basically just better... A better model of the archers. The archers don't have any benefit towards the desert warriors. Lesson learned. Okay. I have COE in my library. C4. Well, Spiloplura, I can't remember COE4 anymore, but basically, ill winter games are pretty timeless. If you enjoyed yourself there, it's definitely worth it. I can only speak for COE5 and I'm having a blast with it here. So, wow, they took down my Herald. That's a bitter blow. Okay, these guys won war. There goes the Ant Hill. And let's call monster ants. I'm shocked. I've lost one of my main dudes. Not so much of the army, but the heralds are valuable. I don't even know what uh, the difference between COE 5 and 4 uh, were. Okay, then he died from disease. <laughs> um, I think the, the Skylord faction is new, if I remember correctly. And beyond that, I really can't say. There we go. Now we talk in business. You will pay for that. So, Monster Shock Ant Warrior. Holy crap. Okay. That's only the beginning of a wonderful relationship between man and and. So, well... Let's keep spamming dudes. Aw, oh, man, they took my mine. They're making me angry. Capping stuff right in my face like that. It's extremely sassy. But they'll pay for that. I'll make sure. I hope at least. <laughs> well, it's a pretty scary blob. Not gonna lie. So, let's do this like that. Need to stop them before they take my capital. Those crazy critters. So. Let's go into the capitals to pick up the, the other troops. Let's just go the safe way. The AI tossed its army into the volcano and won. Why the hell are these terracotta things so damn scary all of a sudden? Why are they always that strong? <laughs> Did I miss something? Flash them. Yeah, here we go. Take some spanking. Oh boy. I do this every turn. Jesus. Meet my shock ants. And thanks for clearing the volcano, sucker. Okay, well. Let's appoint a new herald. That's the first thing that I want to do. And let's recap that stuff. So, Jesus. I, I knew that the summons of this uh, class were sick, but I somehow forgot how sick. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, there's a fat moose squatting on my pillar of power. Jesus. 
Okay, I lost pretty much all of my holdings in this area there. This sucks. So, what can we do with this dude? Construct another pillar of power? Definitely, I think. Or create a refuge? Well... Let's create another pillar of power down there. I need more income. So, there we go, 52, oh gosh. Life power is such a nice currency. So I'd say we're going to roll for a handful extra ants and then go for more devastation there gonna hire myself a throwaway commander for later use the random captain is always pretty useful that's something that I learned over the time but he, he should be backed up with some generic troop. Just like my Scourge Herald. So... I'll hand over this troop to my little Scourge Herald. And the big one will now summon some fresh monster ants. Oh gosh. So that's the same stuff with fire, is it? Yeah, range 8, burst 3. <laughs> cool. This is this is pretty powerful. This is pretty, pretty powerful. I think I could give those ants just to a captain as a raiding party. And that would totally work out. Question is, will I do that? No, I'm, I'm not willing to con uh, commit there. And nation. <laughs> yeah. I didn't expect to roll with the ants. I always thought that Scourge Lord had also some other stuff going on for it. But turns out I'm an ant lord. Okay. So, let's see, I could drop down another mine. Very tempted to do this. Somewhere down here would be pretty appealing. But, well... Or, the other option would be to pick up some troops here. Yeah, let's do this and go raiding with these guys. There's so much still to take, and I need to buff up my income. I think that's one of the better choices to go for. I thought they were about fusing life with all manner, matter of uh, stupid uh, rotten stuff. <laughs> I brought the taser. Okay. So for now, I'm totally unwilling to commit into any bigger city fight or anything like that. Because for now, I'm mainly interested in taking some structures from the AI. And this guy, well, this was one wrong turn. I wanted to go there. So one turn more for the next end summoning. Yay, another pack of fire ones. That's pretty sick. I somehow think that I should be able to take the castle just with the ants alone. 
Let's try it. I'm pretty sure this will work out quite decently. They should be able to destroy the defenders with ease. Range attacks will burn down the dudes on the walls. Let's try it with the throwaway captain so I don't lose anything. Oh, hello there! An entire city defended by one stupid terracotta soldier? This could be my city, basically. Let's hire another scout. I like to have scouts. Yeah, Rossi, I'm waiting for the next amount of iron to place down the next pillar. Already working on it. Ah, here. I'm one turn off. You notice it before me, I guess. There's another... <sighs> Those infidels. Let's drop one into the land. There you go. Take that. So, just when I wanted to conquer a city, I had to clear out my backyard. Pyramids of power, they are far more efficient, but they needed deserts, didn't they? Oh, the terracotta dudes are extremely powerful against fire ants. Damn. Just wasted my entire army there. Silly old me. I could have came I could have come up with that myself, though. Fire is pretty uh Things do these things matter in, in this game. So Pyramid of Power can only be cast in a desert. Thought so. Alright. I'm, so, I'm pretty confident that this should be a win. Stupid terracotta soldiers. So these are just extremely tanky. Trample, wall climb, tunneling. What an odd uh, hype between the elemental ones, but yeah, they're just walking over them. That's exactly what I expected them to do for me. Just have a walk over these enemies for me, thank you. So, I can't recruit new stuff. Let's recruit new stuff. And... Keep recruiting ants. Yeah, you're right about that, Rossi. This makes it a pretty much placeable area anywhere. Means I can't desertify anything. There we go. More useless ants. Well, they're not useless for expansion purposes, but that was a pretty nasty strike here. So let's just keep the fire ant type for expansion. So this should work out. Just keep them away from the fire resistant enemies. Oh, hello there, blue player. So nice, so not nice to see you. AI goes pretty aggressive in this time, so it's time for some tea. I'm gonna be right back, my friends. Let me torture you with a short ad roll here while I'm fetching myself some fresh tea.
Okay, so the situation is pretty crappy for me. I got my strongest stack back there. Well, I should totally pressure them back in their homeland then. Problem is that those fire ants, they're totally useless against these guys, and I shouldn't even dare trying. This is a pretty nasty stack there. Whoa. At least against them, the fire ants will work. Mm. They're certainly swarming the place with free units. <laughs> I'm absolutely not winning this one. Also not lucky here with uh, with the ant roulette. I'm not getting any uh, further of the electric ones. They're totally slapping these guys. The electric ants, they're just uh, zapping these dudes and they're gone. Whereas fire ants are totally losing because terracotta soldiers are... I think, yeah, it's 100 fire resist. So... There's really nothing can, I can do against them here, with my fire troops, so I have to avoid that. They're totally kicking ass against pretty much everything else, I've just uh, have to face enchanters. <laughs> mm. And with the Baron, well, I just hope that this is his power, most powerful stack. If not, we're in trouble. just insane. It's just extremely useless if the enemy is Im immune against the type of damage. But if not, those terracotta dudes are extremely vulnerable. So, you get the idea. So let's catch them there and clap them before they enter my territory. I think that's one of the best things I can do. And I don't know what to do about the Baron troops boiling up there. They're certainly quite frightening. I don't have enough chocolate to share right now. I will share once I have replenished my stockpiles. So, 
Yeah, just zapping these dudes. But they're just swarming to me like like ants themselves. By the way, oh finally. Alright, we're saved. Now they can. They can go and uh <clears throat> you know. I'll leave it to your own creativity what they can do to to themselves. This should help for sure. So let's take the guard tower. Oof! Jesus. Cavalry. Dirtiest office strike of them all. Okay. Lost the shike, but kept the ants. Damn. They're seriously pressuring me on two flanks there, but that's just four units. I, I sincerely hope that my defenders here will be able to tackle these enemies. Sincerely. No, I'm not going to leave anything here to chance. Take that chance. I need to recapture that thing as well. Well, if I had enough money, I could spend some coin there to hire up the Lone Tower. But I mean, I can still do. What the hell? Jesus. Good thing that I didn't leave anything for uh, to chance. Well, the generic units of the Scourge Lord faction suck pretty hard, honestly. I sometimes I'm sometimes pretty amazed about how hard they suck, though. Not talking anything. Uh bad about the summons, you know, that the ants are real bros and all, but basic units are just, it's just like a trash. Okay. I love it. Just a stack of shock ants and you're good to go. God, these guys are so annoying. So, I need to put up another, another sanctum here, there we go. But at least I'm totally destroying their stacks that they're sending towards me. So, well... Since I have that much energy, I've learned something new. So... Wait a sec. Construct Pyramid of Power? Only possible in a Pillar of Power. So, I really wonder what the difference between these two things should be, but we'll find out. Oh yeah. So we got a real beefy front line by now. Jeez, I like it. That's good. That's a piece of good news. Alright, I'll, I'll save up my money to pick up a commander for these troops here so we can secure our flag here, because this is... Surely looking pretty scary as well. Not gonna lie. A shite's fight in front and it's bad for any commanders. <laughs> Smart. That's actually so true. Oh! 
These guys, they're really, they're really business, aren't they? Jesus. I don't know. I, I'm pretty sure I'm screwed now, but let's go. Whew. Let's hold up in the in the citadel. Grab some more crossbowmen. Wear these guys down. We'll see, Ari, just. We'll see. I'm not sure about it yet. Don't want to give up that quickly. The AI tends to do really dumb things. So. Let's see what I can learn here beyond that. Dark Blessing. Let's try that. Okay, it just upgrades the dark blessing if you have one. Okay. I'm not too impressed. So they took my Mermeki Hill. Just that they're squatting there with all these big, stupidly strong golems. And there's not much I can do against that. I mean, there is one good side. I won't lose the game immediately due to no capital. Because I have another point down there, the Lone Tower could save me because I'm really not sure what to do about this next it's also a pretty um, threatening move because if I leave my tile here they can close in quite easily so I'll move this stack now back home so we can break the siege there. And let's see, Construct Guardian. Now oh, this looks like a good piece of uh, defense. Ah, he went away with that stack. Beautiful. So, well, what do we have here? Pretty small stack. I'd say I'll rate that. Baron troops are frightening me a bit, honestly. The AI again. And I'll leave that town open. So, yeah, we're frying these guys with ease. Abandoned mine. They destroyed my beautiful mine, those suckers. Yeah, let's let's take them down. Biggest issue is that we need the, the AI to play against each other. There we go. Just destroyed them like that. So, call monster and queen. Let's do something like that. I want to do some bigger ritual this time. Yeah, guys, if you're that stupid, I'll take the city. So there's the, I've seen the big stack below, the one with the golems rolling past me. So we're ambushed there, okay. 
So I'm leaving my 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 sorry old bacon in there. I can't afford any reinforcements here, but let's just let's just buy ourselves some crossbowmen. Why not? It lowers the intention of those guys going closer. Dispossessed spirits, okay. Something harmless. Good. Let's get back to our pillars of power, and let's see. This stuff here looks pretty takeable, too. Got shock ants. Let's take that stack. Let's mop them up. Baron troops are upgrading the lands for me. I should be grateful. So, my ghouls took down a knight there. My pillars of power rock. Wait a sec. I got a, a whole frickin' unit now? Nice. Hmm. What to do with those nasty bad boys? Certainly move them away from their useless demise and make something useful out of them. Put some random stuff in the castle. Yeah. So let's go for the big monster ant summoning. Extremely curious about that one. So, I want to build another pillar of power here in the close vicinity. Yeah, let's go somewhere like here. That's a good thing. There we go, more life power. It's growing quite overwhelming with with time, and I like that. So those guys got some scary big stacks though too. But as long as it's mostly terracotta armies, I'll just dive in and smack them. And keep recapturing that stuff quite nicely. So, it's time to go for the monster and queen. Two more turns. I want to stay in position. Somehow the AI doesn't bother taking the Lone Tower. Although I gotta say, I wouldn't, I wouldn't like to attack that either. There we go. Bzz. So this is this is the scary part of their army. This is where I don't want to go. 23 ghouls versus one crossbow man. Let's see what my ghouls can do. Good night, Rusty. See you later. And thanks for dropping by, man. So, yep. The ghouls win. I somehow... I somehow had a feeling that this might happen. Alright, let's go. Monster and queen. This thing is disgustingly huge. 
Oh my god. So... The Monster and Queen. 96 HP. Stationary. Yeah, that makes sense. Giant-sized. Spawn monsters. I knew it. Woohoo! Hell yeah, so... This baby can't... move out there, but it's going to be... It's going to be spawning stuff for me, no, non-stop. It's a good deal. Alright. So... Somehow feeling tempted going in there, hats on, but... I don't know. Don't want to lose my doom for nothing there. Hyena tribe village. Are you playing some faction that can build villages like you want to? So, let's see. Build palace. Yo, let's do this. So, yeah, desert palace constructed. Oh dear, I think we're going to find out who's stronger next turn. They don't dare to take that fight. Guess the AI isn't too keen, uh, too sure about winning here. Wouldn't, wouldn't have thought that, honestly. So. Okay. Looks like we fought off the the, the aggressive exp uh, expansion phase of this player quite nicely. So let's take that castle for good. And probably appoint some new herald, because I think my old one just expired. Well, well, I took down a lot of their stuff, and I even took down all of their commanders. What remained were a handful of golems, but that didn't really matter. I think this gave, this was still a pretty heavy dent into their economy. So. Oh, the Popolum mod. I want to j dig into that pretty soon, too. Sounds like some kind of fun that I'm go I want to go for as well. So, let's appoint a herald. So, let's see. Hmm. Pyramid walls. Okay. Interesting. Let's just build another pillar. Why not? For the glory of our master. Okay. So this should be easy pickings, honestly, with the, the kind of army I have on me here. So, Dark Scourge Summons. Okay. Yeah, that's the kind of spell I was looking for. That's where I get all the nasty jank. Scourge and Queen. They look like nothing, but these little suckers have Acidic Spray. And that's why you should like them.
and they are stupid. Okay. Looks like we can't control them. Well, whatever. Well, let's do this like that. So it's been a pretty hard blow, nevertheless, because I lost my other shock and squad, and therefore I have a little bit of a uh, deficit here in terms of troops and defense power. And I somehow have the feeling as if these guys will come again for more blood. So I should get my main dude into position because I somehow feel as if he's gonna go for yet another test of strength. So... Let's bring up more and more pillars of power. The AI does its best to retake the areas there, but we're pretty good at striking these efforts back. Okay, well... Mustafa. All alone out there. Hmm. What a sad life, isn't it? So I could I could give Mustafa an entire army of ants. We could summon monster ants. I could create more ant hilts. Or well, I'm out of extra scourge mastery rituals here, okay. So Let's go for another Dark Scourge song. So are these actually not? Oh, huh, they are autonomous. So I guess that's the that's the matter with them. Okay. So let's see what they'll do. I hope they'll do some. They'll actively spread some chaos and. I'd say I let Mustafa do his job there. And I'm now considering to save up my, my life energy. To just pump up my dude to max level. Oh no, they took down the unexpected hero. Rude. So here we go. There is no ranged stuff involved there, but instead you have this wall of tough as na nails brawlers. Gotta take, gotta be, find a way around that too. Okay, so let's let's create a pyramid of power. Why not? Oh yeah, and I wanted to create one of these refuges. Definitely wanted to try out how that works. So, well... Let's see how my ants will fight this out. Jesus. Ancient temple, no biggie. So this is go going to be quite an interesting fighting force. Okay. Special power. Desertification. Refuge. Here we go. Ah, you create an oasis for trading. Mm-hmm. So that's the kind of oasis you're building like that. Pretty cool. 
And now let's create ourselves another iron mine. I did let down this uh, this part of my gameplay completely, but well, as usual, I'm totally overwhelmed with the amount of options and different things that I can and have to do. But that's not a bad thing at all. So my interceptor is online. So my other dude can do important stuff. Meanwhile, let's just recruit a handful of desert warriors everywhere. So we get to defend ourselves a little bit better. Oh gosh, they're marching all over our towns. The terracotta armies are incoming again. Oh, spoils of war. A lightning spear. Huh. Okay. I mean... Let's see. Yeah. I think this must have been the lightning spear. Yeah, here. So the lightning spear almost killed one of the ants, but beyond that, nothing, nothing unexpected happened. Alrighty, so slave mine. Here we go. Since this is no iron mine anymore. I can't put it right next to it. I'm starting to understand how the the map painting logic of this game goes. So yeah, here we go. Just flat out annihilation, I bet. Yeah. Terracottas hardly scratch the carapaces of the ants. They got heavy resistances. So. And trample. There's a little bit of damage incoming, but it's really neglectable. Okay, so this invasion is easily stopped. Brilliant. Now, let's see how I can upgrade those freaking pyramids. Okay. And some sort of library or such would be also nice to give me some some foreign mages to sink my teeth in. Okay. So let's go for the high-end rituals next, shall we? Or yet another ant hill to defend myself a little bit better against the Baron faction. Upgrade or ant hill. So this is the decisions I'll have to take. And judging from what I'm seeing here, I'm opting a little bit more towards Ant Hill. But first I want to upgrade one of my pyramid uh, one of my obelisks. I never did that. Let's see what that does. I bet the ghouls got squashed by the terracotta dudes. Yep, totally. I expected as much. Here there's their big guns. So Oh, this is seventy five. Okay. Seventy five iron. Thought it was less. Well, okay. 
This better be worth it, then. Wow, these terracotta armies are really a nuisance. They are so easily spammable all over the place, and they don't cost the enemy any effort, as it seems. Whereas I need to put up a lot of effort for my troops. So let's place down another ant hill. And let's save up the money, as hard as it might be for me to do so, but I'll do it. I mean, so far the AI is only flinging trash at me. And none of these armies are really meaningful. There's been one meaningful army, but that didn't dare to go into there. And they're still not getting the uh, Pillar of Power conquered there. That's quite funny. And I'm pretty soon able to get my... my upgrade on my main dude done. And let's see what we can bring up then. So, my golem, my ghouls... Oh, the singular ghoul. Should have brought the rest of the crowd. I somehow ma managed to only bring one ghoul. Yikes. Get off my territory. You're not a uh, you're not allowed here. Rude. Well, it's been one mad dog of a of a ghoul going all alone at the Mott and Bailey. Yeah, he just got smashed. And I was considering another queen there. Or go big with another Grand Ritual of Scourge Mastery. Let's go big. Black Scourge summons. Alright, a monstrous being of manifest destruction. Alright, so this would be another power up for the summon for the other stuff, I guess. Well, okay. So. Another thing which is worth mentioning, this guy has now access to extremely deadly spells. Chill of the Dead, Symbol of Unlife. Tier 3 magic in COE is one hell of a power up. Always. Has been. So let's take and conquer these lands and I would feel I feel like our good dude Mustafa here is uh, ready to go forward. But then again, the, the stupid artificer is just pressuring me too hard. I can't trust Mustafa all on his own to do this. It's just too much, you know. Poor this little old chap. So, here's a pyramid of power. 49 income. Holy crap. Pyramid walls. I see. This would construct a kind of a uh, fortification around that. I see, I see. Cobalt skin boots. AI is still sending trash against me. So, what's that? 
What's that stack for? And oh boys, I totally left open a pillar. Jesus. One, two, three. Brilliant. 172 units. That's quite a lot. So. I don't have the resources for that. Let's summon some more ants. When in doubt, some ants. Ah, oh, the shock ones. Brilliant. I think if you get, manage to pull one, one shock queen, you're you're basically set for the remainder of her remaining game. I think you instantly won. GG. Until you meet something shock resistant, but until then, I think you're dominating quite hard. Jesus, there must be a factory of dudes just sitting in the swamps, pumping out terracotta bo uh, boys day and night, non-stop. Well, I don't really want to crash into this party there. I feel like it's it sounds like an unhealthy urge to to intervene there. No, not the boring ones. I feel like I don't want to. I want to keep my forces ready to intercept what's coming towards my town there. I love it that enchanters are stronger now. They were they were really underpowered in my humble opinion in in vanilla COE. And it's been a shame. I really found that extremely sad that they were so totally not competitive. It's a pleasure for me to see where they are now. Okay, well. Let's see how much damage my little critters uh, will do here first. So, three units died, not more. It's a problem with the knights. They pack quite a, uh, quite a nasty alpha. But against my earth ants, that will be not that easily happening. So, am I ready for this kind of fight, I ask myself. Do I want to fight it there? That's the next question. I can erect pyramid walls there, so let's do this. Boom, take that. Ha! Ah, this is my pyramid, and I'm hiding in it. It's always a good move to scare away the dudes. Yeah, the swamp crafters of the enchanters can dish out terracotta soldiers for free, basically. I mean, I, I, I find it extremely delightful to see how how well the AI does do its job here, honestly. It's cool. It's absolutely cool. Doing the spam strategy like a pro. So... Let's have some roaming stuff here as well. And let's see how much pressure Player Blue has in store for me. Oh, they're taking the Lone Tower for real now. They've been threatening to do this for a long while now. And they lost. <laughs> uh, those fire ants. 119 kills. <laughs> let's have a look-see at that. 
Yeah. When we talking about AOE mages. <laughs> Basically, those ants are AOE mages, and only the two one, the two outside died. The other ones didn't, so you get the, you get the rest. So this dude has 20, 20 iron, uh, twenty earth ants at his disposal. Okay. So. Let's catch a little bit of that here. So I'm not that afraid about the Baron troops right now. Frankly said. At least my fire ants are working against these. So... Squish. Squash, squoosh. Well, what do you want from my castle, good sir? I don't really dare to attack there, though. Or should we? I think I'm quite confident to win this. Ah, oh, well, let's do this. Come on. I hope this wasn't a foolish choice, but I highly doubt it. Because we just saw what a handful of these ants were doing. So, we did lose 10 units, 10 of the frontliners, but beyond that, it was a glorious victory. I mean, this guy is a very, very deadly spellcaster on his own, so... We basically lost the first front row, uh, front row there. I'm not too surprised about that. So let's see how that played out. My shock ants weren't able to shoot. But they they somehow didn't really were they they weren't really necessary as it seems. The earth ants were doing the show on their own. Boy oh boy, how to win with Baron? Those poor little suckers. Well, okay, I got enough of this. This uh, this this hurts. I pity them already. So we just destroyed the terracotta stuff. Good job. So, there we go. That's been quite easy, honestly. Yeah, Baron and Enchanter are pretty uh, hard on me, I know. This is another stack. This is one we haven't seen yet. So, leave the solos behind, they only slow us down. There we go. So, what are you? Okay. Nothing terrible so far. And I think the the Earth Ant Swarms will... They, they could be a good answer against all these... Um, against all these golems that are facing that I'm facing right now. So there we go. So what next? There's pretty nasty chunk coming towards us here. But I definitely want to punch down the Baron troops a bit more here. So... Black Scourge summons can only be cast on that. I'm somewhat 
afraid that this might be another autonomous stack of stuff roaming around the lands then. Uh, let's put our Scourge Lords together here. And I'm somewhat tempted to just go for another Ant Queen, because I know what, I'll, what, I'm, what I'm getting when I'm going for an Ant Queen, you know? There we go. Boom. Coral Ring, Mace of Unlife, Amulet of Antiquity. Even loot in it. But I won't find out if I don't try, so I want to try. Oh, now I do realize the Scourge Ants that I, that I summoned here, they started to create ant hills all over the place, which spawn ants for my faction. This is, this is pretty brutal. I love it. Okay. So, this was a big fight. Let's watch it. It's the first contact with real golems here. But that's the good part. Our ants have pretty nice strength and pretty nice damage. And therefore, they, they are at least able to wound these guys. The worst thing that can happen to you when you're playing against enchanters is that your frontliners aren't able to scratch those bad boys. And that's when you're in trouble. But here, we do at least deal some damage, although... I must say, I, I feel happy about the fact that they were already damaged when they came over to this place, because... This surely is no fun to, to, to whittle down. Once they were surrounded, it goes faster, because you get pretty nasty debuffs when you're surrounded, but... It's been just two Iron Golems. A pretty nasty one-man armies. But, well... It's been all good in the end, so I don't mind. All right, let's go for whatever that is, the Monster Scarab. Okay. Trample giant sized causes fear. Is this again something I can't control? Or... No, it's something I can't control. So that's all. A monster scare. Worth 750 life force. I feel a little bit underwhelmed here, dear friends. I expected a little bit more... impressive. Well, let's go for more pyramids of power then. These are definitely more impressive. I mean, maybe there's some hidden intrinsic uh, on this stuff that I don't see right now. Could be the case. But I'm somewhat tempted now to just save my money for plain old and queens next time. So yeah, th those ants are really just the killers here. The real superstars of this run. Especially that you get all those free free recruits from the end queens is just massive. Spell could give purple worm or magic worm. <laughs> then I got a real bad one. So you can get all manner of crazy stuff, or you can get the dung beetle. That's the that's the 
not so desirable rice. So. Sucks to be me. I got the dung beetle. So let's surround the dude. And I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna call another monster and queen. Because I feel like this is one of the most powerful things that I can summon right now. So this will give my army another nice source of troops. Now that I know a little bit more about the available spells, I gotta say, the Scourge Lord really thrives heavily from from the from those Ant Queens. I feel like this is some of the most powerful thing you could roll for. So let's see what color we'll get this time. So, go. Oh my god, I got a blue one. I got a blue one. <laughs> Get wrecked. So, this is now. This is now the end. The beginning of the end. Let's stomp it from here. All right, electric ants are locked and loaded. So there's some crappy units down there. Let's follow them. So, I wonder if I managed to break the economy of the Enchanter Nation there. Could be well the case. I took down their big golems. I mean, it could also be that they're right now reforming behind their fronts. Wouldn't be surprised about that um, as well. But right now it seems to be very easy to just take whatever they got. And trample all over them. So yeah, I lost one brown and... So what does the beetle do? Except for being tanky. So... Um, I think this has no beyond that. So the shock ants are actually the biggest threat for my monster ants, but beyond that everything's pretty groovy. Oh gosh, catapults. I hate fighting against catapults, so I'll delay that for now. Fighting into an enemy with catapults is always painful for you, but you can't, just can't change that. Hmm, there's a big stack. Yeah, big golems destroy mines, I know. The fun part here is that I'm that I get to rebuild them if I if I do destroy it. If they do destroy mines, I can just dig out a new one. It's a new part of the equation, so wow, okay. They went for a regular stack of stuff now. Oh, never mind, it's the Baron faction. It's just a regular glob of Baron. <laughs> so... Looks like I have to move back home with my fun... with my fun stack. Because there... There's the police... noping me out. So... 
Well, let's see. Call of the Pillar. Ritual failed. So this only works with pillars. Oh, silly me. But whatever. I'll place myself down here. Well... Let's rather chill at the, the Shock and Sten. Let's see what we can do there. Wow, they're attacking me. So... Oh, I sent my Scourge King out alone. Of course they're attacking me. Yikes. What a misplay. I was so sure that he had troops. Oh, yeah, he, he travels alone. His troops don't travel with him. Of course, that makes a terrible lot of sense. It's late, I'm tired, and I threw the game. That's okay. I needed an excuse to go to bed anyways. Now I know what what happened there, so be that a lesson to you guys. If you teleport through pillars, it's just you and not your troops. Alright, good night, everybody. It's been a blast, and see you all next time. Bye-bye.